Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again in the raft. So there's been a couple updates. As you can see, it's kind of dark and hazy, and you're probably asking yourself, what's going on? Now you can see the sun kind of coming up. So there's been an update. Uh, what we actually had to do here was we actually had to go in and recreate a whole brand new world that was literally, I tried to rebuild the same world that we already had so we didn't have to make a break in the series um, and start over again. So what I did is I actually went in, you know, took some uh, photos of the actual world that we actually had and then went ahead and went into the new save and with the new update and went ahead and rebuilt the raft. So we're going to be in the same position so we don't disrupt the series. Um, but a couple things that I wanted to kind of like take note here. So the original raft is what we was playing. There was an update that added a chest. Now there has been a second update. And with that second update of, I think it's like uh, 1.05. Yeah, 1.05. Um, that's the most current one. And as of that time of 1.04, they actually allowed you to use that save. So now we shouldn't have any save issues moving forward with updates, which I'm really excited about because it's kind of hard to go ahead and rebuild stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I'll kind of show you what's going on in the new features of the game here. It's really exciting because this is some of the stuff that we've been talking about. Uh, most of the YouTubers that we've that I've seen playing this game has been talking about it. So we went ahead and we just kind of recreated the same thing. So we're back in the same position. Now, the only thing that you can see different, we don't have our two planners here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hold off on planning stuff right now because I'd like to get this built first uh, now that the save is actually going to allow us to continue on moving forward. So here's one of the new things. Kind of cool. Now that there's a day-night cycle, we need a torch. So I went ahead and I just kind of chucked this in the middle of the raft just to kind of let us see. Kind of like, okay, uh, this will allow us to kind of keep this lit up. Uh, maybe as time changes, maybe we'll, we'll figure something out to change this a little differently or something. Uh, because what I'd like to do is kind of move some stuff around and uh, get some stuff reorganized here. Uh, but this is one of the new cool features is that. And then now obviously we have a chest. So it allows us to take things like, you know, this excess of scrap where before we'd have to like just chuck it on the ground and just let it disappear. Now we don't have to worry about that, which is kind of cool. Uh, we got the same drinkable waters and everything. Uh, let's look into here. So as we go into here, we can see everything pretty much looks the same here. You know, we've got the spear, the hook, the hammer, the, you know, everything's here. Uh, but then if we scroll into here, you can see that we still got pretty much everything here is the same, except now we have a chest. And that's how we build a chest. So to build a chest, you need some scrap and uh, some wood. So that's kind of good to be able to, you know, utilize a bunch of the scrap to make some chests. So that'll be kind of cool. Uh, so then we scroll down to here and check this out. Now we have a chair that takes nails. What? We got the lantern, which you see here. And then we have a table as well that also takes nails. So how do we create nails? So nails is now under here. So if we click on nails, it gives us another opportunity to do this. So you can see now that they they have kind of like implemented a fact where we can actually use a bunch of the scrap now. So I'm kind of excited to get going with this. Uh, I haven't done, I haven't played anything as of yet where I actually been able to build the tables or make nails or anything. I basically just came in here and recreated everything. Um, while we're thinking of this, because we're starting to cough and hack and everything here, let's go ahead and empty all this into here let's go ahead and grab some water there we go now our guy's getting hungry too so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna chuck these back in here we're gonna have a little bit of steak mmm numbers there we go so now we're back into business here all right so the plan is we've already had one shark attack here uh, when I was rebuilding I think two so he's close to being dead so we'll be able to get some more meat but if not we do have a fishing pole that we can go ahead and maximize here. Uh, I, as I was rebuilding the other day, I kind of made the mistake and I rotated these, which was kind of a bummer. Uh, I would like to have changed those around a little bit. Um, and so now they've got this little thing where you can actually, it, it actually says how to rotate, R to rotate. That was another issue that they had uh, that they did in this update. And then another thing is, is now we can sprint. So when we get our raft too big, we can actually sp sprint around here. As you can see, this is normal, and this is sprint. So there's been some cool, cool add-ons. Like I said, I'm really excited as this game progresses. 
I uh, hope you guys are too. There's a lot of cool features going on. Uh, just the chest alone is going to start making things so where you can do some pretty massive builds because you can actually start, you know, gathering up a bunch of these materials and going ahead and getting uh, getting everything saved up. So what I want to do here is I want to make some rope here real quick because what my plan was was to actually take and get this kind of spread out this way and then I wanted to go like this and we're going to plant this here then we're going to go like uh oop, 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 there we go we're going to go like this and we're going to chuck this stuff up here like this bam so now I can start working on this top section. So what I want to do up here is I want to create a spot where I can actually put like a little tree farm. So this is going to be our like our little tree farm area. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to grab some of these. Uh, we need to rotate. There we go. So now we need some more wood. So it looks like wood's going to be our downfall now since we did use quite a bit of it there. Uh, so we just got to wait for some more wood to come. Uh, we can go ahead and get a tree planted uh let's see can we make one of these yet no we need a little bit of wood oh we need some nails too it's going to make you make nails now so that's new they didn't make you use nails before uh to create this so now that they've added the nails they're making you use some nails oh 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 get off the boat get off the boat and see, they made him a little bit stronger, too, because, look, it used to just be three hits. Uh, and now, if you actually look, it took, like, four hits. So they've made the shark a lot, lot stronger. So that's another another thing I forgot about, too. Uh, so you got to be very cautious of that because he's already taken that down to 15%. So, uh so we've got some nails. Uh, let's go into here again. Uh, a little tree farm. So we need six pieces of wood. So we need a few planks is what we need here. So let's grab some planks. Uh, see if we get some more planks coming in here. So I'm really excited. Like I said, this is this game is like developing well. You can actually see uh, the water as well. They can actually see that the color of the water has changed because now that there's kind of a day-night cycle, They've kind of changed that, uh, as well as you can see that the thatch has changed as well. You can see that it's a it's a different, it's a little bit different because if you remember, if thatch was floating out there, it was kind of difficult to see, um, and so they kind of changed the texture of it. And the other thing they did was they made this hook. I can actually use the hook, as you notice. I still have the hook in my inventory now. I didn't get rid of it, and I'll show you why, because the hook now actually goes a lot faster when you drag it in. Look how much faster it drags in. So much quicker. So much quicker. Look at that. Like, boom. You just drag stuff in really, really quick. So I was able to actually utilize the hook at the very beginning. So I went ahead and I still have it for that reason. Uh, just because they did change how well that, that works. So uh, I went ahead and I was able to start gathering up some pretty good materials. Where is he at? Let's go ahead and jump off and grab that. Hop back on the raft. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going up here. Uh, what I want to do is... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want this. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing some rope. So let's make some rope. And let's go back to here. Let's go here. Let's craft one of these. Let's go like this. All right, so let's go ahead and plant this up here. This will be our first one. Get this set right where I want it. There we go. Now, I have been, like, saving this up here, so we do have these down here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to plant one of these up here so we can at least get a tree going. We need to make an axe, too. That's the other thing we got to do. Get an axe. Okay, so let's go ahead and plant this up here. So what we'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up putting a chest like someplace up here, like maybe like right over here. And we're going to have all our tree plots right here. And then that will allow us to have all the, the stuff up here, all the seeds for that. We won't have to worry about it. OK, so we got some food issues. We got some water issues. So let's take care of this real quick. Let's chuck that there. Let's chuck that there. Let's drink these. 
Water's taken care of. Let's go ahead and fill that back up. We're going to go ahead and plunk these here like this. We're going to go like this. We're going to eat one of those. Let's eat another one. Bam. Okay, problem solved. So once you have a like a cooker and some water, man, you get some, it's it's pretty easy to stay alive on this thing. It's just a matter of don't get in the water too long. Uh, I actually had my uh, my off camera world that I was playing with, and I got greedy one day when I was trying to kill the shark because I wanted more food, and I had so much stuff on that raft, and he got me pinned between the raft and the shark, and he just killed me, and I was so disappointed. I'd spent so many hours playing it, and my greed just got me killed. Let's go ahead and repair that so that's repaired. And as you can see, now it's starting to turn dust. You can see the sun's going down. I mean, just glorious, this change that they did. I love the fact that there's, like, no more fog. It's just, like, it's not all day. It's actually a night cycle. It's just such, it just adds so much more to the game. <clears throat> when I played it for the first time, when I first logged in, and, and the day and night cycle was cycling, and I didn't have the lantern yet, it was so dark, and I was just like, wow, this really is a great immersion. Because if you look, you can't even hardly see the shark. So, I mean, you could make the mistake and be like, oh, I want this thatch, and then not realize that he's right out there close to you. So you got to be very, very careful with this day and night cycle. Where with the day cycle, it was really simple to see that guy. All you had to do was just kind of go, uh, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab some stuff. So you just jump off, and you just grab it really quick, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. But now you got to kind of like pay attention. Like, is that him? Is that him? Because you can see him pretty good in the sunset. But once he gets around to this darker section, he's very difficult to see. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Okay, we got the tree going. Oh, is he coming in? Oh, I thought he was coming in. Let's go ahead and uh, make us a tool here. Uh, we got one. Okay, we should be able to craft this. So let's go ahead and dump this over here. Um, oh, oh. No, 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 get off the boat, man, and he, man, he almost broke that thing too, that's going to cost us a lot of wood to repair, which is fine, which is fine, like, once we get this going here, we're going to get our wood situation under control, but for now, we're still kind of lacking, there is that point in the game uh, as you're trying to build and everything, that you do kind of run yourself short of materials. But you can see that that's already growing up. So we're in good shape there. Uh, let's go ahead and do this really quick. Okay, we can put some more of these down. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Uh, let's rotate like this, like this, like this. And let's rotate go like this, like this, like this. And like this. Oh, oh, so close. So close. Just need some more wood. No worries. We're going to get some more wood really easy. But we're making some good progress here getting this farm going here. So that'll be that'll be awesome. Once we get that up and going, our wood situation will be taken care of. Once we get like uh, like four trees up there, three or four trees, we'll be in really good shape. So let's check our inventory again. We got a lot of thatch, so it's just the wood that we're waiting on right now. So we're going to be able to make a bunch of rope. Get a bunch of wood, get this thing really start building up here really good. We're going to get this. But you can see like right now, here's a perfect time. Like you can barely see that guy out there. You got to really pay attention. He almost just looks like another piece of material out in the distance. So that's where you got to be very careful when you're like thinking about going in the water at nighttime because it does get so friggin' dark. And I love it. I like look at the immersion in this game to be able to have that. I love it. Okay, so let's go up here. Uh, let's plunk this right there. Okay, so now we got this taken care of. So now what we need to do is we need to start making some more of these. So we need a bunch more rope. So let's go ahead and make some rope. Uh, we're going to make 12 pieces of rope. And what do I need? I need some more wood. So wood's where we're, we're falling short right now. And that's not, is that done yet? Is that done? Let's see, is this done? Doesn't seem like it. Not done. Yep, not done. Not ready to harvest yet. Let's go ahead and grab some of these materials here. Did I grab that wood? Yes, I did. 
Okay, so let's go like this. We'll grab one of oop, one of these. And so we're just short more wood again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plant this here. We're going to plant that there. We're going to go up here. We're going to go like this. And we are going to plant another one of these right about there. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some of this. There we go. And I never really noticed that either. Listen to the chest. I never heard that before while I was building earlier. I, I never even paid attention to it. Uh, we're going to chuck that up there. We're going to put this in here. We got some more water issues we got to deal with. Water issue solved. Let's go ahead and plant these back here. Grab some more materials. Bam. There we go. Now we're cooking with butter. All right, so let's go like this. Let's see if we can. we make another one of these yet? No, we cannot. What are we still short? We're still short one more plank. Grab all this good stuff. So I'm going to have to start building some chests here soon because we're going to get to a point where we're going to have too much, uh, too much stuff in our inventory again. So, and that other chest is starting to get full. So we're going to have to start working on that. Uh, let's get over here so we can grab this stuff. Cause as you can see, we've, we, uh, we're starting to gather a lot of thatch right now because we're trying to build these walls. Give me a bunch of wood. Nope. Didn't give me a bunch of wood, but it gave me some wood. Okay. So let's go ahead and craft. Uh, why can't I craft one of these? Oh, I need more nails. That's what I need. I thought I needed more. Uh, let's look at this and we'll grab this and we'll grab one of these there. Now we're getting somewhere with this garden. So let's go ahead and slap this down right about there. I think we can fit one more too. Ah, get off my boat. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Ah, almost didn't get there in time. How bad did he, uh, how bad did he mess that up? 25%, not too bad. Okay. No worries. No worries. We got this under control. Go ahead and go like this. Now, see, the cool thing now that we actually have chests is we can actually start making, like, all sorts of storage areas. So we're going to have to make a storage area, and then what we can do is we can go over and we can just start storing, like, everything. Like, put a bunch of wood in this chest, put a bunch of thatch in this chest put a bunch of like rope in another chest we can get all our stuff just kind of in an inventory chest which will be awesome okay so i need some more nails uh was that enough nails uh let's see i need one more piece of wood are you kidding me i just need one more piece of wood uh let's see can i do this really quick mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, boy. See how much better I am with the hook? It's so much easier to use now. Uh, so let's go ahead and craft this up really quick. Uh, we're going to go one of those. Used up a nice amount of our inventory space. So there we go. So let's go ahead and plant this bad boy right over here. Is it going to fit? It's not going to fit. Bummer. Well, that's too bad. I figured it would have fit, but apparently not. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this for later. Uh, let's go ahead and see about this tree being done. This will give us some wood probably. There we go. Now this is the reason I do this so I don't have to like worry about grabbing coconuts really fast. You can see that coconut already fell off the backside. If we would have just been right next to the edge of the raft, they would have just fell off. So I found early on playing this game that it was just easier to just take like see this coconut's trying to get away. It was just easier for me to uh put up this little barrier here and then that way i could kind of like protect like uh the coconuts falling off here so let's go ahead and go like this um so we've got ourselves i wonder if i can put a chest maybe chest bent, bent down this back wall so we have plenty of stuff because i think three trees will probably be good uh let's see chest what do i need to make a chest let's craft one 
and we're gonna put it right here like uh come on there we go like that we can put that in there we'll put that in there for safekeeping now we can move all of this stuff uh this stuff up there bam so we'll have that and this will be our little tree garden area now what we can do is we can probably put a couple more chests here, which will be nice, because then we can just come over and open up these chests as well. So uh, what do I need to make another chest? I need more wood, so it's wood that I'm lacking. Is this tree done? Let's find out. Nope. Okay, that tree's not done. All right, so then what we're going to do here is I'm probably going to use this probably here for a garden area underneath this because we have this set up. So what we can do is we can actually, oh, uh, we can actually get one of these. We have to rotate it like that. Now, the thing of it is, is a shark can come along here and still like destroy this through this and destroy both of these items. So what I like to do is I like to put a little platform around the outside. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. Uh, that way, if they destroy anything, they're just basically destroying like one of the, the the dock pieces and not really devastating a big portion of our, our project here. So what we can do is we can go like this. Uh, we can go like this. Let's craft some rope like this. Now we can go uh, like this. Uh, let's rotate. See, I almost caught it there. See, now if he comes along here, and tries to chew on anything, he's going to be chewing on this one and not this and destroying that. Because let's say, you know, the same situation here, you know, he's going to chew on this one. Oh, let's grab all this wood before it gets out of here because we need all this wood. Uh, so if he comes over here, he'll chew on this one and not this one. Because if he chews on this one, then it's going to destroy this, which will destroy all eight of those plus everything up on top of it. So it will destroy our chests and everything. So... That's where you got to be very careful when you're building it. So I always put a little perimeter of extra around the outside. So if something happens and I can't get to them, and the reason I did that before was because we couldn't sprint, but now we can sprint so we can get there a little bit faster. Uh, but this way just is a little added protection here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab all this stuff here real quick. And then we'll go up. Oh, hey, stupid. I always forget that there's a sprint. See, and it was funny because we were just sitting here talking about, about him biting this. And look where he came. He came right here and bit that. So that kind of shows you the situation here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, come on, cook that. Cook it. There we go. Cook it. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and eat this piece really quick. Uh, looks like we still got some water issues, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this really quick, and I'm going to go like that, and then I'm going to have to end this episode, guys, because we're getting close to that mark here. I just wanted to kind of get in here and show you everything that was going on with the raft, what's going on with the updates, and just kind of let you see what's happening. Uh, I think it's awesome. I hope you guys love it. I love what this developer is doing with this game so far. Um, I think they've they've added a bunch to it, which is just... It's it's perfect. I'm loving it. I, I'm I'm curious to see what the next update is because at this point I'm not feeling like there's anything that's really I'm like okay I need this. Like if I had to say anything, maybe a door might be cool, um, but I mean they did a lot in what they've done so far. So I'm curious to see what the next updates entail. Uh, like I said, there was uh, this first update which was. Uh, just a couple things. It was just like the raft or just like the, the chest. But now with all these other updates, I'm kind of curious to see how how uh, fast these these updates are going to come. Oh, see, I'm already starting to lose things. So this is where we was before in this game where we'd always be losing stuff. So now we can just go like this. We can pick up stuff. We can go like this. And this just makes this so much easier, as you can see. So, but you can see this chest is already full. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm, I hope you're excited for the new updates. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm going to find myself playing this game even more. 
Um, it was very limited before, and now that they've added so much more depth to it, it's going to be even funner. I'm excited for the new updates that's going to be coming along. Uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think. Uh, are you enjoying it? Uh, is there anything that you would like to see added to the game that's not already implemented in the game? Uh, and then hopefully, uh, hopefully if we get enough... Uh, enough uh, people saying what they want and what they want more of this game that it'll it'll change and there'll be more stuff to it and more more add-ons to this game but right now i feel like what they've done so far has been spectacular so i'm excited to move forward guys uh, i hope you guys are enjoying our build we got our tree farm going we're going to start working on getting some storage and we're going to get some uh some plants or some potato farms going and some beets oh that was the other thing that i forgot to tell you too was they added beets raw beets so there's also those. So uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way, you know, when we're posting new YouTube content and when we're live streaming, if you haven't checked us out on Twitch or YouTube gaming, come hang out. Be part of the audience. If you're new to those channels, smash those follow buttons over there. So until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for the support on the channel and the series. We're closing in on 100,000 views on the channel, and I am so excited about that. And until next time, in this glorious sunset, we will see your faces later. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for future videos.